Greetings and salutations and welcome back to Lodestar Gaming. It is Wednesday, it is night, and it is it is Star Rail time. Honkai Star Rail, that is. As we continue to dive into Lucha and 1.1, there's Pom Pom. I don't think we're ready to do anything in terms of our Trailblazer level. I'm sitting at level 47, trying to get to 48. 50 is where we do the Equilibrium level to 4, so we've got to do some questing. So we are going to do some questing and go back to the Ciancho Lufo and uh, we Lofu, sorry, going to a Night Stranger. We're going to go over here to that specific quest. We have finished all of the mainline quests. We're going to the Exalting Sanctum right now, but we have finished all the mainline quests. I finished those uh, later, so we're waiting on the expansion, the next expansion, when they bring out Kafka, which I'm actually looking forward to. I'm going to roll on Kafka. She is a very intriguing character, so. We are headed to a night stranger. We're going to speak with Dahao in Realm Keeping Commission. Sold registration always takes forever. That is Welt. Welt is a badass. If you guys watched the last Wednesday Night Genshin, that's who I want to get. Oh, so you are. And these would be Miss March 7 Welt Yang. and Mr. Yang, I presume. <laughs> that's right. I'm the first one. He's the second. March, try not to sound too excited. We're here for work, remember? Yeah, March. Yes, he looks like, uh... Uh... Zhongli, oh, yes. You're the one getting excited. <sighs> my first detective case. Finally, my intelligence and wisdom have a chance to shine. Miss March, Mr. Yang. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Make yourselves comfortable. It, one moment, please. Jing Yan! Give me the photos! Coming, coming! Stop yelling! <sighs> Thanks for waiting. These are the outworld uh, travelers who were sighted in the location specified by the general and the master diviner. This was two days before the Ambrosial Arbor came back to life. We just did battle with the Ambrosial Arbor. It's bad for the uh, Sancho Lofu because reasons. We'd like you to take a look. Do you recognize any of them as a threat? Let me take a look. Hmm, so these are the suspects. Uh-huh. Hmm. I see. That's... That's Lucha. Lucha is one What's of the wrong, new characters. Gang? See anything fishy? Who's he? I'd like to see more information on him. Why, it's Lucha, of course. Which one? Let me see. I thought we talked about copying people. No. I don't have any concrete evidence, but I think he's worth checking out. Wait, right. He walks around with a coffin. Oh, him? I remember him. He's a traveling merchant. He trades throughout the universe. Knows a thing or two about remedial arts, too. He registered himself on the Xianzhou as... Uh, what was it again? Locha. Locha. His name is Locha. Jin I call him Locha. I like Lucha. That's right, Locha. Locha. He came to the Sienjo with a huge box this time. Some it's a coffin. funerary contract. If you guys haven't seen his name? coffin, to do with watch coffin? the last episode it was pretty conspicuous. Uh, I had to ask of about it. Lucha. It'll show you the Lucha one, the last episode. A coffin. It's a tool that certain non-Sienjo travelers seem to use in death rites. I'm guessing our guests here might recognize it. I think they will. <laughs> I swear he said coffin. Anyway, we checked him out. His record on the Sienjo is squeaky clean. It's not caffeine. It's caffeine thing. Coffin. coffin. It's a coffin, moron. Yeah, yeah. Either way, it definitely had something to do with funerals. There are lots of travelers on the loft, though. Each with their own star system and death rites. I guess that must be Loch's line of work. Is there something up with him? Not necessarily. But I have my reasons for wanting to investigate. What was he doing in the days leading up to the Ambrosial Arbor's resurrection? Why, he was hanging out with Don Hung, of course. That's complicated. Come with me to the Foursquare Mirror. It'll be easier to explain. All right. Are we playing Foursquare? Did you play Foursquare as a kid? I did. Lofu's crucial central cities. The higher-ups are very concerned about security issues here. That's why there are so many Psychrane stationed in the area. 
Lacha arrived on the Lafu a few days prior to the Ambrosial Arbor's resurrection. Up until the day before the resurrection, there was nothing suspicious about uh -oh. his behavior. Uh, I figured it out. The day before the resurrection, he appeared near the Ambrosial Arbor with a Celeron. Oh yeah, I guess. You're pretty smart. Sometimes. Thanks, March. <laughs> Are enthusiastic, I'll give you that. The reason I mentioned the day before the resurrection is because we have no idea what he did that day. He's busy kicking ass, more than likely. The resurrection brought about unusual yin yang phenomena that caused the entire Psycrane system to malfunction. The image data from the day of the incident is beyond restoration, and the data from that day before was badly affected. Uh oh. Why don't you just ask him? We will, in due course. We can't be too general. Specific questions are key. Not to mention, without a clear suspicion, it would involve multiple interrogations. So, if you feel this Lucha is suspicious in some way, make it known. <laughs> he can't even say it right every time. I just call him Lucha. An interrogation. <clears throat> How should I put this? He just looks kind of... Stupid? Mr. Yang! You were going off of his appearance this whole time? I thought you had some super secret thing up your no. sleeve. No. Of course you judge a book by its mom cover. Ever tell you not to judge a book by its cover? <laughs> I don't think he's handsome. Take it easy. Take it easy, Trailblazer. Sorry. What I mean is <clears throat> it's difficult to explain, but my instinct tells me this Lucha. Lucha, 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 Lucha. Apologies, uh, I realize this is personal. I really want to roll for well. He's great. It's all right. Instinct is an important part of any realm keeping commission investigation. There are times when my gut tells me. I'm with you on this one, Welt. Mr. Yang, Welt Yang. You on this one. Be that as it may, as an official. Can't go bringing someone in based on a villainous appearance. If that were the case, I'd bring you all in. <laughs> because if a complaint led to his dismissal, it would leave a blemish on his resume, making it difficult for him to advance his career for the next few centuries. Yeah, because that's what we don't want. Precise no. What are you talking about? Anyway, if you want to investigate, I can grant you access to the four square mirror. Jing Yan, you'll be assisting our esteemed guests in their investigation. Why, thank you. Ugh, isn't it inappropriate for an officer of the Realm Keeping Commission to assist the public in investigating someone? Ah, not at all. Make sure you don't leave the commission. Just help them check the Cycrine footage. Keep me updated on progress. If you find hard evidence, I'll be there in a flash. One thing, though. Don't approach him. What if we just say hi? To make a discovery, contact me What if first. we buy him lunch? We're thankful that you're entrusting this to us. We'll keep it by the book. Don't worry. The express crew keeps its promises. We won't disappoint We've you. We've disappointed a lot of people in this stuff. <sighs> Jin Yen, over to you. There's been lots this of dis this disappointment. This might take you some time. Come and find me when you're ready. Oh, boy. A night stranger. I can bring up the data any time from here. I'm ready. Let's do it. All right. Follow me. Following. I assume the force square footage is some immense. As official Dahao mentioned, the arbor caused unusual yin yang phenomena, which affected the entire Psycrane system. We lost a lot of video footage, and for the image data we recovered, the timestamps are all jumbled up. Look, this is Mr. Locha on the day prior to the. Locha. 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 <sighs> We have to clean up and reorder the footage. Ourselves. Oh, I don't want to do that. Exactly. Uh, this is your forte. No, it's not my forte. I don't want. Uh, it says uh, who? Hey, I said. Oh. oh my lord! Lucha crossed the street and turned into a strange corner. It looks dangerous there, but he didn't seem to care at all. He paced in with nothing but a sword in hand. Lucha walked out of the small inn without any heavy luggage. Lucha walked into Spare Time Bookshop and stepped out after a while. He left with nothing in hand. Perhaps he didn't buy anything. Lucha is looking into this. This is the dock of Exalted Sanctum and Coffin on his side. I love that coffin. That coffin is a weapon. It's awesome. 
Uh, maybe he just left a star skiff. Maybe he was waiting in for a new star skiff. He walked along the dock for a while and put aside his luggage, leaning on the railing, watching star skiffs passing by the dock. So, what do you think? I think the correct order is four, because that's when he arrived. Uh, two, I don't, uh, it's definitely four, because he started yeah, with four. Let this order works. He exits the star skiff. Hmm. Lucha exits the star skiff, enters exalting sanctum, goes into an inn, yes. and puts down his luggage, including the coffin. I believe that is the correct, the correct order, Miss March. Then he goes to spare time bookshop, but doesn't buy anything. Finally... He leaves and turns a corner into a dark alley. I believe that is the correct order. The logic in this is sound. Looks like the correct order. Nice work. Bet your sweet ass it's nice work. Uh, nice work indeed. Your sidekick to a genius detective after all. Beat it March 7th. Where does this corner lead to? It leads to you shutting up. I checked the map and found a gate in this open area. Look, there's a small dock on the other side. He may have left on a star skiff. Why would he leave Exalting Sanctum via That's so suspicious. Dog? He's I carrying around a coffin, suspicious. dude. I don't think Mr. Lodcha could have departed from there. The dock you're referring to is Yunsho Crag 999. It belongs to the CMXCIX. We like Roman numerals here. Oh, and Lodestar Gaming. We like everything Roman. That's why that gate is almost always locked. As far as I know, it's been locked for centuries and only gets opened for occasional inspections. Well, that's a bit suspicious. The key question is, when did he leave? There's only one gate in this area, at least on the map. Miss Jingyan, does the remaining footage show anyone else entering or leaving? No! I can find out, but you'll have to wait a while. Most of the footage was lost. But at least there I was don't want to wait. We've got things to do, lady. We have got things to do here. Understood. Thank you. Thanks for your hard work. When will you be done? Thanks for your hard work. Your assistance in this matter is what requires gratitude. I'll get you what you need as soon as possible. Good. Hurry up. Move along. Oh, we already talked to her again. Thanks for waiting. I didn't really wait that long. Footage we have of the open area. I say all. A lot of it was lost. That's your fault. Are the corrupted parts recoverable? Can we use the same methods again? No. For some of them, maybe. But I can't guarantee anything. I'll Thank you. Great! Did you find anything in the remaining footage worth paying attention to? Hmm. Only that someone left the area through that exit around two hours after Lorcha's appearance here. Lorcha's nowhere to be seen, though. Interesting. Isn't this a scene from the Angler Mystery? I have no idea what that is. I what are you the talking Angler about? Angler Mystery, the novel. I don't know anything about a novel like that. I have no clue what you're talking about. You're way out of out of line here. I don't know. Uh, I'm I'm not sure. sure. I'm I'm completely out of this wealth. I have no clue. Uh, the Angler's origin story, of course. He's a healer from the Alchemy Commission who gets on the wrong side of a mysterious organization called the Tea Society. Two agents in dark clothing wait for him to be alone and then poison him. Sounds like a happy tale. The drug has the same de-aging effect as the Vidyatara's hatching rebirth. The angler gets younger and turns back into a child. From there on out, the angler pursues the Tea Society while solving all kinds of strange cases. It wouldn't. In the book, the drug only de-ages the body. Mara it's is the disease the that ever that the words, Stellaron affected the like the uh, Sancho uh, Lufo. Hatching with. rebirths are specific to the Vidyatara. Vidyatara are the dragons. Vidyatara. That is, uh, what's her face? Uh, Dang it's it, just a novel. Bailu. Who knows that is Bailu's like that uh. In reality. Uh, race dragon. Sufang, the author, was a medical assistant in the Alchemy Commission. The medical principles of the novel are strictly grounded in reality. Disagree. True. If someone from the Alchemy Commission was suggesting it could be done, then there's always a possibility. There always is. So, March, what you mean is, the two people in dark clothing are Tea Society agents, and the child is... A de-aged Lawcha? I disagree. Uh, what 
if a crazy angler mystery fan decided to commit a copycat crime? Which is not a girl. Blanchard gets turned into a child that follows a mysterious duo in black. <sighs> the child. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. And the here. child is a girl. Blanche. Hold your horses, everyone. I That's Yinshu. I know Yinshu. That's Yinshu, the young shopkeeper at Spare Time Bookshop. I know who that is now. Too bad, Marge. No de aging, no angler. Yeah, take your horse crap out of here. Uh, 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 detective's initial conjectures are bound to be wrong. Yeah. <laughs> totally expected. The Cycranes weren't able to get a clear look at the two people in dark clothing. Let's ask Yinshu. I'll keep trying to recover the lost footage. I'll contact you if there's a break. Fine. All right, let's go. Let's go. We need to go find Yinshu. Where is Yinshu? Household registration always takes. Okay. Forever. Don't need to be hearing from you, sir. We're gonna walk away from that. We don't need to be hearing any of your small talk crap. Get away. Stop talking. Thank you. Oh crap, I can't go that way. I gotta go across the bridge. I keep forgetting I can't jump in this game. All right, let's talk I to... The I don't see her at all! Uh, Business hours aren't over yet. She should be nearby. You two go ahead. I'll wait here in case she comes back. Okay. Let's go! Wait, so you're still reading traditional literature? Are you reading that? Already. Uh, so she asked someone to look after the shop for her. But Everybody left. Everybody's gone. Where is everybody? Do I look like it, Mr. Fox Ears? Huh? Young shopkeeper? You mean Young Shu? Yeah, I am. Something wrong? You're terrible. Um, can you please tell us where she is? <laughs> Why should I? Um, because if you don't, I'll kick your ass. Uh, because we're asking nicely? What's with the attitude? <laughs> I can tell you. If you pay me 500 strands. Um, I think we should beat his ass. I'll pay you? What is this? You want paying for a simple favor? <laughs> Come on. No one ever tell you that information and intelligence are the most valuable commodities? I could just beat it out of you. Uh, this guy doesn't seem like the negotiable type. What should we do? Yes, we have no money, but can we pay you with a beatdown? Oh, you dare threaten... The question is... Oh, you mean like the one in that... <laughs> And who do you think were the inspiration for the team? I don't know why we're lying. Us. That's who. <laughs> Sounds like a pack of lies. Dang it. Am I in trouble? Uh, uh. Forget it. I'm not stooping I'm not to your level. To your level. <laughs> in she said she had a voucher for a food stall over an exalting sanctum. She wanted to use it before it expired. You know, she's not been gone long. Probably finishing up her food right now. Okay. Next time you talk to us that way, we're going to beat your ass. <laughs> You saw the light. Come on, let's go. I'm headed. See you later there, uh, butthead. So you're still reading traditional literature? I am still reading traditional literature right now. I don't know why anybody else is surprised about that. There she is. Are you Yinshu? The shopkeeper at Spare Time Bookshop? There's... Something we want to talk to you about. Yeah, that's me. Can I help you? You're heading back to the store, right? Let's walk and talk. I'll tell you all about it on the way. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go and talk about it. Let's just have a chat. Let's just walk over and see what's going on. What's happening. Let's go to that spare time bookshop. I remember that day. After I closed up the store, I walked around for a while. I was looking for a place to read. Of course you were. I that empty area it seems like a good reading spot at first but then i noticed two people blonde outworlder and a blonde outworlder is that lucha or locha or lucha right. so i left those two people left the same way i did liar so you just happened to be going the same way did you see what the outworlder was doing not a damn mm, sorry i was only trying to find a place to read I didn't pay much attention to him. Or the two in dark clothing. All right. All I remember is the two people... They smelled bad. There you go. They 
smell pretty bad. I guess that's not much of a clue. Sorry, I can't give you any useful It's like we're going around sniffing the world here. On the contrary, any information you can give is valuable. Thank you very much. Still, according to the Psycrane recordings, Walcha's final stop before heading towards the open area was your store. My store? Spare time bookshop? You're sure he came to? Oh, that's right. I remember now he did pay a visit. Oh, how could I forget? How could you forget? He came in, looked at a few titles, and then handed one to me. An old paperback. Everything seemed normal, but after paying for it, he immediately tore off the title page. I was shocked, but he was grinning ear to ear, so I didn't dare ask him about okay. it. Okay. After that, he just left the book on the counter and went on his way. Okay. I can't believe I'd forget something like that. I guess the Ambrosial Arbor's resurrection the day after pushed everything else to the back of my mind. Well, it was rather huge. You could have destroyed the entire ship. So, what was the book? The Angler Mystery. Oh. I was wondering what to do about oh. it. I can't sell a book without a title page. But uh, since you asked about it, here, you can have it. Uh, Mr. Yang's instinct was right all along. He is not a villain. He is a villain. How could he do this? Tearing up a book as well written as the Angler Mystery. <laughs> Unacceptable. If I knew the answer to that, wouldn't that make me as evil as him? Oh, my lord. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We're forgetting that the Realm Keeping Commission was initially investigating whether someone brought a dangerous object onto the Law Food. Which was the Stellaron, if I'm not mistaken. The How and the others are probably not aware of what that dangerous object was. Yes, we know it was the Stellaron. We know for a fact that it's the Stellaron. Correct. I think that by removing the page, Law Cha may have provided us... Law Cha, Lecce, Lecce, Lecce. Lecce. What does tearing out a page have to do with the Stellaron? Are you following Mr. Yang? No. I think so. It might seem like a random action at first glance, but there has to be more to it. Maybe the page will mean something to his accomplices. Exactly. I think Law Cha may have friends on the Law Fu, and they're using the title page to communicate. Interesting. Uh, that makes him even worse. How dare he use a book that praises justice for his evil plans? Would you shut up, March? I'm afraid evil plans are still within the realm of speculation at this stage. We have no way of knowing exactly what he did because the Psycrane data was lost. Okay. So, is this a dead end? No. Not anymore. We have a message. Let's see what she says. Do you have some time? Please come back to the Realm Keeping Commission when you can. I fixed some of the recordings, and there's a section you might find interesting. That's good. Miss Jingyan's uh, help is right on time. Thank you so much. We'll leave immediately. Okay, please be careful on the way here. Well, we're not going to get attacked. Uh, that's more like it. New clues always turn up in the nick of time. Well, of course they do. All right, we got to head back. Oh, God. Cross the bridge again. Oh, you please, thank you. We're going and we're walking and we're walking and we're walking. And we're in. Uh, where's she at? Where is she? Oh, that's her. That's the how. I don't want to talk to him. I want. Where's she at? Oh, there she is. Sorry, sorry. I'm here. Oh wait, there's something I need to take. Collect. Thank you. All right. We now know what time Lord Cha left the open area. What time? Nice! You found footage of him leaving? Yes. According to the Psycrane recordings, he left the area two hours after he entered. Interesting. Uh, strange. Why spend two hours in such a confined area? With two other people. He must have been up to something. Diarrhea, that's it. Huh? Diarrhea. Stop you right there. Diarrhea, that's how it's gonna be. Someone you'd give up on finding a bathroom, even in an emergency. You have to admit, you could just hang your cheeks over the side because it's floating in midair. I mean, there's nobody below you. You might as well just knock it out. No side cranes are installed in that area. Nobody wants to see. Nobody wants to see Lucha crapping himself. by the minute. I know Mr. Yang never wears his heart on his sleeve, but do you get the feeling he's a little restless? No. Don't worry about me. It's just 
My mind keeps wandering back to those other law chas I mentioned. Uh, not the greatest memories. Uh, how does he always hear us? Well, he is pretty awesome. Well, I'm afraid I have some other business to attend to. Later. Let me know if you need anything. I don't. You know how. Uh, thanks for the help, Miss Chingyan. See ya. So, what did Law Cha get up to during those missing two hours? Well, I thought diarrhea. I thought it's diarrhea was getting. Time Detective March took the gloves off. You're not helping at all. Oh, and what do you have in mind, Detective? Fieldwork. That won't be necessary, Mr. Yang. As the angler once said, She's terrible. a true detective operates as effectively from their armchair as from the scene of the crime. That's not even. Or you put it another way, I'm too lazy to explore the map. Thank you. It's too early to start field work. We must wait until my deduction is complete. Thank you. Then when we arrive at the scene, you'll see that the facts match my theory to a T. You blew the whole thing out your butt. <laughs> well, seeing as you're so confident, let's give your idea a try. Can we not? Uh, yay! Mr. Yang is the best. Household registration always takes forever. Uh. Let's do it. Okay. Here we go. Explain a theory in front of everyone is more nerve-wracking than I expected. <laughs> Explaining a theory in front of everyone is more nerve-wracking than I expected. Well, of course it is. Oh, lordy. Okay, we got a challenge. Uh, let's see here. 52, we've got lightning. Ugh. Lightning. Okay, so we're going to challenge. Lucha's there. That's huge. So we get Lucha, and then I want Lightning, which that's going to be, uh, of course, Jing Yuan. And Wind, which, of course, we like Bronya. And we'll go with our Quantum Lady, because we already have heals. Let's rock and roll. We get a battle. All right. I'll be using the Angler's Deductive Method. Reconstruct what happened from the bad guy's perspective. Lucha's not a bad guy. And now I'm Lucha. I'm scared. Uh, quit messing around. I'm thinking. Oh, almost forgot about that title page. He took it with him. So it must have had some significance. Uh, next up, I need to have a look at that map, Mr. Yang. Hmm. He must have gone through that gate of No, I don't no know. Way he would have stayed put in such a small... But Miss Jingyan mentioned that gate is a military asset. It's locked all year round. Uh, you think that would stop the likes of Luocha? What kind of Stellaron smuggler would he be if he couldn't get past a door? <laughs> you think a lock like this can stop a girl like me? That is not Lucha's voice. I don't know what this voice is. <gasps> Fine. I'll be me. You guys will have to imagine his lines instead. I'll imagine them without the terrible voice. Such a rudimentary lock. That's Lucha's Easy voice. Pickings. Even if Lucha was able to unlock the door, what was his goal? Oh boy, we get to do his this stuff. Must have been waiting on the other side to buy the Stellaron. He went to meet them. Let's see. I want uh, A to rotate. I can't rotate that, can I? I don't know. Hmm. There's that. Okay, that's what I have to do. I got it now. I'm sorry. All right, let's go. What I think about it, something's not right. Why would they run into a military airfield? Because, uh, well, we're too law-abiding to understand. That's not even. Hold on. This would have been too quick a route. Yes. And What's wrong with the quick route, says Lucha. Ahem. What's wrong with the quick route, Mr. Yang? We're trying to uncover what Law Cha did during those two hours. But even if he repeated this route 20 times, it wouldn't have taken him that long. I guess not. Ah, true. He must have had a tougher journey than I imagined. Oh, come on, let's start over. All right. 
I, I don't understand these enemies on the <laughs> Sien Chu Lofu. They look like Chinese New Year stuff. Your eyes are bigger than Why is the monster talking now? Uh, you know, just a little dramatic effect. Alright. You guys can watch Lucha again. I if you didn't watch the last episode, you get a chance to see him now. We'll slow it down for you. Here's Lucha. He does a single target attack. <laughs> With a sword. Of course, you all know our good buddy Jing Yuan. Need my word. Show no mercy. There's always a weakness. <laughs> all right. As you guys can see, uh, uh, Ching Che Ching is quite good. I really like her as a quantum attack. She does this, which absolutely destroys. There we go. Alright, so he fought somebody to go in. Oh, wait. Hello. These are soldiers affected with Mara, which they think is a illness that affects uh, people, the uh, San Fu, from the Stellaron. Stellaron always has bad effects. If you guys remember in the last few episodes that we've done, Stellaron made um, uh, Jarillo 6 very cold. And in this particular case, Stellaron has infected the ship with these Mara soldiers. So, Lucha, let's see what we got here. <laughs> I love that. That's why I love Imaginary, because it's got that nice little imprison, which is awesome. Wait for the tiles before you start counting. Take them. This hand sucks. Oh, better late than next. There's her hand. Blast. Follow my charge. Here. This thunder. And that's why Jing Yuan is awesome. There you go. Alright, so now we're over here, looks like. Oh, we gotta fight this guy. Come on, buddy. Pity. You chose the wrong enemy. But this flower? Bloom. <laughs> All right. Like gambling, you have to choose. The most you have to keep gambling with her, and she gets the fours, and then that gives her the boost <laughs> to do that. <laughs> and as you can conclusion. see, she breaks people. Conflict is pitiless. That right there, that follow-up attack is incredible. All right, they're gonna revive. Allow me to see you off. <laughs> All right. Eternal sleep. Here's Luthor's death wish. There's his coffin. As you guys can see. Nobody knows what's in the coffin, but wow. That which is seized must be repaid. Evil doer. Wait for the there we go. What are all these enemies doing on the Law Fu? Same question. March 7th, explain yourself. Because. Uh, because. Because. March, you don't have to add in combat scenes while you're. I like the combat scenes. It's making the story a little more bearable. She does. Leave her alone, Welt. Guys, that'll do it for this episode. We're going to continue to go through this uh, on the next episode of Wednesday Night Star Rail. Thank you again. My name is Tim. This is Load Star Gaming. This is Wednesday Night Star Rail. Please give me a like and subscribe. I'm getting attacked if I'm not careful. Uh, so please, again, give me a like and subscribe. Thank you again for watching. We appreciate it.